Kotov. Uh, research uh, will uh, get underway on Wednesday, and the crew will, will be back into a full complement of scientific investigations. The uh, Soyuz landed uh, less than an hour ago at uh, 8.49 p.m. Central Time, and now you're looking at a replay of a video that was shot of the Soyuz descent under its parachute from uh, one of the Russian uh, search and recovery helicopters, the MI-8s. There were a dozen of them involved in uh, today's uh, landing operation, and uh, which are at the landing site southeast of Jezkazgan to assist in uh, the extraction of the crew. Uh, they'll be uh, working uh, in the recovery of the crew and the flying of the crew back to Karaganda uh, in the next phase of this uh, recovery operation. Again, this is a replay of video that was captured during uh, the descent of the Soyuz under its parachute less than an hour ago. The Soyuz uh, performed a bullseye landing right on track, uh, enabling a swift uh, recovery of the crew and their extraction. And again, this video shot less than an hour ago during the final seconds of uh, the spacecraft's descent to the surface. Uh, you'll see the soft landing engines fire just a moment from now. That is a jarring ride in the Russian helicopters sometimes. Uh, for those of us who have, have experienced that, uh, the ride and the, there's the soft landing engines firing, a great shot in this replay from the helicopters. Uh, sometimes the ride on the Soyuz heli in the uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, can be more jarring than uh, the ride for the uh, crew members in the Soyuz vehicle itself. The uh, landing occurring just 29 minutes after sunrise on a uh, frosty but uh, cloudless morning in uh, south central Kazakhstan. And there you can see in this uh, video replay, uh, search and recovery personnel <coughs> uh, getting out of the helicopters uh, to race across uh, this field, a barren, uh, desolate field, usually punctuated in south central Kazakhstan by its high brush uh, towards uh, the spacecraft.
to begin the process of safing the vehicle and uh, opening up the top hatch of the Soyuz since it uh, landed on its side, which is very typical for most Soyuz landings, uh, that initiating the extraction of the crew. Once again, uh, you're watching uh, a replay of a video that was acquired uh, within the hour uh, from the landing site. You saw quite a bit of this uh, in real time, but uh, this uh, very interesting video shows uh, the initial search and recovery personnel uh, from the uh, Ros Aviatsa Search and Recovery Forces, uh, whose helicopter landed uh, within a few yards of uh, the Soyuz vehicle following its touchdown. And the initial moments uh, as we uh, Look over the shoulders of uh, the search and recovery personnel as they begin the initial process of uh, opening up the top hatch of the Soyuz vehicle that you see landed on its side, uh, but safely. Very typical for a Soyuz vehicle to be dragged onto its side uh, by the parachutes. Uh, other uh, personnel now in the background there racing uh, to the side of the spacecraft. A dozen Russian Mi-8 helicopters were employed in the uh, recovery of the Expedition 37 crew members, Yurchik and Nyberg and Parmitano, who landed at 8.49 p.m. Central Time, 8.49 a.m. Kazakhstan Time on Monday morning. These are personnel from RSC Energia, uh, the manufacturer of the Soyuz spacecraft, as they wipe down uh, the, the outside of the hatch uh, that will minimize any uh, particulate matter uh, from uh, moving uh, into the spacecraft once the hatch is opened. <laughs> 